Here they are up on the wall here. Hello and welcome back to the Introvert Circus. I'm Sassafras, this is Sirius, and today we're going to be chatting about our experience with the AKC's new Fit Dog title program uh, and what it was like to earn the titles. The titles just released uh, as part of this new titling program in January 2023. I'm filming this at the end of January 2023 and Sirius has earned all three levels already, bronze, silver, and gold. And I'm just going to talk about what our experience was like getting through this titling program uh, and what my honest opinion of it is, what I liked about it, and also answering some questions that we got on Instagram of things that people hoped that we would talk about. So like I said, this new titling program released from AKC just this year, it's brand new, and it was a lot of fun to do. The information about the program was announced in the fall, maybe like October, oh, November, October, around there, I'm not sure, uh, letting everybody know that these titles were coming and also the information about how to start working on them. And one of the really great things was that we had the information ahead of time that they were coming, as well as information um, letting us know that we could begin working towards those titles um, then, as well as past dated um, activities that we've done. So we were able to, as soon as the titles released, put in the paperwork towards earning those titles. So about our experiences with it and um, other information, I really like the AKC's Fit Dog program. Uh, Introvert Circus is a official AKC Fit Dog Club. It's our banner back there. I'm going to be doing more, hopefully potentially doing some more virtual walks and activities and things upcoming. So stay tuned for that. Also definitely check out my training group on Facebook, Tricks in the City, same name as one of my training books. So I've been involved with the ATC's Fit Dog program in that regard in that, again, Introvert Circus is a Fit Dog Club. I'm also a certified level one and level two AKC Fit Dog um, evaluate instructor instructor. Uh, so I've gone through the level one and level two instructor program with AKC, um, which can mean that depending on what my schedule ends up looking like, I may end up uh, teaching some fit dog courses, which can be used towards earning titles. So potentially more about that later this year. My year is already super, super busy. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with the other things I have going on, um, but separate from that, if I am also a AKC trick dog title evaluator and to do more with your dog trick dog title evaluator. And I absolutely love um, evaluating trick dog titles. So that's something I do all the time. Feel free to message me anytime or again, check out my Facebook group. So earning the title. So there are three levels in the fit dog title program, bronze, silver, and gold. And to earn those titles, I will include the links below. You should go check out AKC. They do a really great job of walking you through everything you need to do and how to document the activities that you're doing with your dogs in order to earn those titles. The thing that made me so excited about the new fit dog uh, titling program with AKC, as opposed to other fit dog titling opportunities with different organizations, which I have absolutely not gotten involved with at all, um, is that unlike those, the AKC's program was really about highlighting and celebrating the ways in which you are already being active with your dog and encouraging that kind of intentional um, structured exercise and activity. And I think that is fantastic, super important and great for dogs and people. But what it's not is it is not a any kind of rehab program uh, for dogs who have injuries. That needs to be done. I am very, very committed that that, needs, that work needs to be done with veterinary rehab professionals. We work very, very, very closely with our veterinary physical therapist with Sirius's uh, various PT and orthopedic issues that she has recovered from. So definitely, if you have a dog who has a history of orthopedic conditions, please, please, please talk to your and find a veterinary rehab or sports medicine vet in your local area who can work with you and your dog to come up with an exercise plan. 
What I love about this program is that it really is designed though to highlight the kinds of exercise that you and your dog are already doing. So to earn the bronze, silver, and gold titles, you have to accumulate a certain number of points for each title and different kinds of activities that you and your dog are probably already doing are worth different levels of points that add up to earn those titles. So uh, what I found really helpful to do when I was working towards our titles was to honestly take a piece of paper to look at the three title options and to figure out where it made sense to plug in the different things that we had done to get the points that we needed for each title. We had more than enough points for that. And a lot of you who are already doing active things with your dogs probably either have the points or are close to having the points as well. It's just documenting them. So in terms of documenting, the AKC does a really great job in the um, participant guide, which again is right on the website, of breaking down how to understand the different levels and the different um, way to count um, the activities towards earning those titles, how, what you need and how to go about putting that together. So for the um, tracking, you can do different things. Again, they break that down if you are doing a structured event uh, or you are taking a fit dog class with one of the AKC fit dog instructors, you can have one of us sign off on it. If you are doing things on your own, you can provide documentation in different ways. So one of the things we counted towards her fit dog titles, I can't remember which title we counted it for, maybe bronze, was that we did the AKC Turkey Trot this year. Uh, which is an event that I really, really enjoy. We did it all in one day, so it was a structured run. And I was able to prove that we did that by utilizing readouts from my Apple Watch, as well as Sirius's uh, activity tracker from her Phi GPS collar. Um, that are that attaches to her collar. So that was really, really helpful. I was able to use that for independent walking, um, tracking that kind, because it's looking at longevity, it's looking at sustainability. And that's something that made me so excited about this program. It's not just about like, bam, can you do this thing, which may not be a thing that your dog is ready to do strenuous wise. However, with this program, it's looking at like doing things over long periods of time, regular, consistent, um, sustainable exercise for our dog. So I was able to use month by month readouts from Phi, from her collar, and then, yeah, I think it was just the turkey trot was the only thing that I pulled my watch um, data for. So definitely if you have a smartphone, if you have an Apple Watch, if you have, or equivalent type tech, if your dog wears a Phi collar or a Fitbark collar that is doing, uh, or tracker on their collars that's doing that kind of activity tracking, so, so helpful for earning those titles. Uh, you can also use all kinds of things. Again, check out the evaluation guide for what you need to have, certain um, breed club titles, as well as other certain active titles, agility titles, rally titles. I used rally titles for her, for a couple levels of her fit dog title. She has both her novice and intermediate rally titles from before we retired from rally. Um, yeah, I really liked it. So what you do is you figure out your point system, like I said, so I was, for us, because we had a lot of different things that I was adding together, I figured out what made sense to put on what title, where it was going to give us the points we needed because you need different amounts of points that go up between bronze, silver, and gold. So put that together and then I just put a, a folder on my desktop for each of the titles and put all of the documents I needed in each folder and then filled out the title forms. And then this is one of the titles that you can upload on AKC via their new title portal, which is awesome. And I was able to then just upload all of the information. Fun fact, I thought I had to do them one at a time by reading the, the way that it was written on AKC's website. You don't. Um, but once you put one in, you can't do anything else until that title is approved. So I put in her bronze thinking I could go back in and then do silver and gold because I had all the paperwork ready to go. But I had to wait for them to approve bronze. Uh, and then I was able to put silver and gold in together. Uh, so if you have enough to do multiple titles at once and you want to do that, put all the paperwork in at one time is my hot tip. It was unclear on the AKC website, from at least to me. Um, what else is there? about it. Um, AKC sends you an official title certificate. This is an official AKC title. Um, it was fast to process. It processed within a week, which is incredibly fast 
uh, for any titling organization and especially for the AKC. So right now, at least, they are processing the Fit Dog titles very, very quickly. So that was exciting. Um, some questions, I know I'd gotten some questions about processes. I think other questions I had was how long we were working on it. And so one of the things I really liked about this title was that it was recognizing sustainability. And so there's not a start date requirement um, for it. You just have to be able to show that progression. So I was able to go back through my records and pull rally titles we earned a couple of years ago to count. I was able to then use her um, five data to track exercise over a period of months. I think it's like three months for each of the like independent walk point systems. I could be wrong about that. It's been a minute since I put it in. Um, but I was able to go back and pull data from like the summer and the fall and then the start of winter, which were like chunks that I was using for some of the levels showing her daily level of activity that met the requirement from walking um, from our structured walks, which meant which met the requirements for the um, regular walk uh, tracking for the title as well as the data from my Apple Watch and the active fitness activity tracker on here, which allowed me to then track um, the time distance of our walk. So I put all of that together. I took screen grabs uh, from the apps on my phone and then uploaded those to AKC. So in terms of how long it took, um, because you're able to use past active data, for us, I was able to just put the titles in right away because we already had it. I'm not, I think it would depend on how active you and your dogs already are, how long it would take if you were starting from scratch uh, to earn them. Some of them, some of the point systems, it also depends on what you're doing. Like the fit dog classes are six weeks long. The um, sustainable independent walks, you have to track over an extended period of time. So it would, again, it would just depend on what activities you're using and what activities you're already doing or have documentation for for how long it takes. And then another question we got was how to stay motivated. So for me, um, that would really be about sort of having built a really regular fitness routine for my dog. And our consistency with sticking with that enabled us to have the data already to be able to put those titles in. And some of that is about that she does have a really complex orthopedic health history. For folks that are new, Sarius had bilateral TPLO right before her second birthday, which is surgical rebuilding of both of her knees. We work very, very closely with her veterinary uh, physical therapist around that. She's also mildly dysplastic and she has a chronic, um, chronic muscle flare issue that flares with her neck, which is probably the biggest orthopedic issue we deal with. And so we work very, very closely with her rehab vet on a regular basis who had helped us to develop a ongoing daily exercise um, and physical therapy routine, which then honestly put us in a position of having a lot of that work already done. Her fitness is something that's super, super uh, important. She is a six-year-old noof and we, we have been told very clearly from her rehab that the way that, reason that she is able to do all of the things that she does really without any restriction is because of the amount of muscle tone she has. So maintaining that's really important as she becomes a senior. Um, so for me, some of the motivation that is about maintaining it has just been about making sure that my dog is able to continue to do the things that she loves to do for as long as possible because she has these major orthopedic challenges already. Um, that most people don't know when they see her and they see her do things, have no idea um, the amount of work that goes into her overall fitness, as well as the amount of metal that's in her knees and the amount of professional rehab work we've done uh, with our vets. So that's kind of the motivation thing. It's also just really fun. Like I love seeing the things my dog can do. I love having fun with my dog. I love training my dog. and fitness for us really fits in with all of the other sports and activities that she is doing. So that was that. Um, the, 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 that kind of answers all the questions that we got. If you have other questions about the process, please let me know. I would love to answer them either in the comments or in another video. I did want to talk about ribbons though. So she, um, I posted on her social media, if you've seen them, she does have ribbons for her bronze, silver, and gold titles. AKC sends title certificates. They do not send ribbons. 
um, but you can order ribbons independently. This time I decided to order from a new ribbon maker that I've not used before. This is not sponsored. Bought these with my own money, but I did want to make sure that I waited to film this video until they had arrived, which they have. So I got them from Go For Bolden, which is a, a small business that makes really beautiful ribbons. I've heard great things about them in the past and just had not tried them before, but now I have and I really like them. So the ribbons I got, they have a Facebook, uh, the business has a Facebook page and she will post ribbons on there and then you just have to comment, you have to be there at the right moment, comment to claim them uh, and then pay her via PayPal and she sends them right out. They arrived less than a week after I ordered them, which was amazing. They were shipped cross country and they are beautiful. So let's go take a look at ribbons. All right, so here they are up on the wall. Here is bronze ribbon. The dog bronze title lighting is not great in here right now my apologies so we have bronze and then i have silver here it's a silver title and they're really they're just really pretty ribbons i really like them and then here is her fit dog gold title ribbon and i just wanted ribbons to commemorate it because that's how i am um but i think that they turned out super beautifully highly highly recommend i will link her facebook group below so all in all, I really like the Fit Dog program that AKC has put together, and I think these new titles are really, really fun. Let me know in the comments if you and your dogs are working towards these new Fit Dog titles or if you're thinking about doing it. Also, let us know if you have any questions. Sirius and I will do our best to answer them based on our personal experience of going through the program. Um, I really like it. I had a good time with it. She had a good time with it. She's She's a happy, active girl. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We will see you again in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, have fun with your dogs.